What's up everybody? So the 2017 Corvette Stingray made it through Hurricane Irma. That's right. It actually did, right? Yeah, it did. <laughs> it's right there behind us. Man, what a amazing vehicle. What a beautiful vehicle. And still, six months later, it's for sale right here at the Marchant Chevy dealership. Stay tuned. We're going to check it out one more time before it does sell. I just got a feeling. I got a feeling somebody's going to buy this vet before the end of the month. So wow, so wow, we, it's the Corvette Stingray. What a beautiful car. We've filmed it several times on the channel. I've been filming it about every month. And you know, I thought, hey, let's go ahead and get the keys to it, pull it out and actually uh, drive it back here and just take a look at it. Again, it's an amazing vehicle. It's an American muscle car. The Corvettes have been around forever. My mom drove Corvettes. She absolutely loved them. Her favorite color on a vet was white, so black is definitely the complete opposite of what she always liked. But I'm telling you today, I'm liking the black. I'm liking the black interior. It's just really sporty, isn't it? And look how big it is. I mean, it really is massive in size to be a, uh, you know, I mean, it's super wide. Look at that. I mean, just look how wide it is. We'll kind of walk through and take a look how wide the hood is. You know, I, I mean, it's not big like a big old Ford or Chevy truck, but it's long. Okay, it's got a nice long wheelbase on it, and it's wide. And that just makes it look very exotic, doesn't it? It really does. I know a lot of y'all really enjoy looking at the Corvette videos when I do them. I really want to take this car out for a test drive. I'm not sure if the management staff here wants me to do that or not, but I really think it deserves to go out on the road and get some beautiful shots and really get to feel some of the power that this Corvette offers. And I know there's thousands of other videos you could be watching and test driving them, so that may be the case. But um, we do definitely get to admire it right here at the dealership today. I love the headlights on it, the LEDs and that little daytime running light and that big projector there. And it's got the little Corvette logo kind of right in, the, in there. So it's really neat. The Corvette's just a great looking car. And this one's all blacked out. I mean, from the rims, let's take a look at these wheels for a second. So you got Michelin tires on here. Now, I mean, it's really, it's really sad when you see uh, spider webs right in there like that, isn't it? I tell you. Pilot Super Sports. I mean, it's sad to see that. Beautiful brakes. I mean, massive size brakes. I think those are four pistons under there. But um, it's sad to see spider webs in there. That's how long this vet has been sitting here. Like I told you, it just sits under the canopy of the dealership every day, waiting for someone to buy it. I think I'm probably the only one that comes out here every week and cranks it up and, uh, and checks it out a little bit, right? Let's take a look at the window sticker. And again, I've done some I've done some in-depth reviews on this, so you're more than welcome to check those out. You may have already checked one of those out before, the night reviews and the daytime ones, but 6.2 liter V8, 8-speed paddle shifter, automatic. I mean, you know, 26 highway, 15 city, average combined of 19 miles per gallon. I mean, there you go. It, you know, it was, uh, MSRP was 60,575. You know, then they reduced it down to 57,218. And then on the seat in there, I got another sticker there that says 52,969. So, I mean, they've dropped it all the way down to 52969. So they really are ready to move it in September here. There's the rear looking good. I mean, I love the exhaust pipes back there looking pretty sweet. Heck, let's go ahead and set the camera down and uh, and rev it up a little bit and see what she sounds like. Before we do that, I got to switch out my microphone and have it facing the other way. All right, there we go. So let's sit this camera down, let's rev it up. Get a little engine rev, nothing wrong with doing that. All right, let's hear how she sounds. Yeah, I'm gonna move it a little bit because I'm worried uh, I'm worried that something could spray out of there and hit my camera lens. Let's do that right there.
So I mean, honestly, not a whole lot of exhaust sound like you would think. I think what you, the exhaust sound that sounds really good that you're gonna wanna hear is probably when the vehicle's actually driving and you mash it down and, and haul butt down the road. So, but hey, you got to hear a little something, right? Those taillights are really sweet. I like how this kind of dips down like that. Just gives it really a mean kind of look, doesn't it? Wow. So hey, while we're doing this, let's go ahead and pop the hood. Hear that? Hear how it sounds from under there? If you ever wondering where the hood release is on a on a Corvette, well, you got there's trunk. Hood's usually back here somewhere, not seeing it. So I'm, I'm assuming hood release. Where could it be, right? Trunk. Where is hood release? I'm not sure myself. I know I've done it before. I'm not sure. I will find out though and uh, let you know in just a second. Wow, I, uh, I, can't, I can't find where to pop the hood on here. I know I've done it before and I think I remember a long time ago doing a video dealing with the same thing. Couldn't find the hood release. I don't have a clue. Let me know in the comments. Next time I'm out here, I'll pop the hood. But um, yeah, I can't find the button anywhere. I mean, all the regular places you would think the hood release button is on a Corvette, I can't seem to find it. Um, you know, I thought it might have been in here or maybe in the glove box, you know, or I mean, your regular areas would be right down here for your hood release. If there is a button, it's definitely, uh, it's hidden, right? Maybe it's down here. No, couldn't find it. You know, then I was like, oh, maybe the hood button is over here somewhere. Can't find it over there either. So technically, I'm really not sure where the hood button is at. Okay. But um, I'll definitely find out. And we'll, we'll definitely do, do another video looking under the hood on here. But yeah, that's crazy. Anyways, uh, let's get the AC blowing a little bit and see how that feels inside the Corvette. So again, you know, the price... It's been dropped down. Let's have a look here and see. Can you see that? 52,969. 52,969. That's a deal, folks. I'm telling you. What do you think? I mean, that's a deal right there, I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'm interested in see what you have to say if you think that's a deal right there for a uh, practically brand new Corvette. Um, it has, uh, it has 247 miles on it, and again, it's been here at the dealership uh, probably about six months. So, it's been here a while. It's time to sell it. They're ready to move it. Maybe there's some information on here that you could see that might, that might help. Let's see what packages it has. Options and pricing. It's got the 1LT equipment. Performance data and video recorder, $17.95. It's got the eight-speed paddle shift auto transmission. That's a $17.25 option. Remote vehicle start, wheels, five-spoke black, $495. Battery protection package, $100. And then front license plate bracket, $15. So uh, your performance data and video recorder, eight-speed paddle shifter, auto transmission, that's pretty much you know where most of the packaging comes up to and those wheels. The rest is just kind of small stuff there. But um, a beautiful car, black with a jet black interior. It's sporty, it really is. I, I, I'm ready to see the thing sell, I really am. I'm interested in seeing somebody come and pick it up and uh, the first person that buys it, I wanna know. I wanna know who you are. If you're watching on YouTube and you're one buying it, please let me know if you call the dealership and get interested in buying this bad boy because um, I really just wanna know who buys it when they do buy it and, uh, and talk to them. So that'd be really kinda cool. But anyways, thanks for watching the video with the Corvette today. It did survive Hurricane Irma. We um, we had it under the under the front up there where it's usually at, and uh, it was safe. So again, we got tropical storm weather here in Charleston, and uh, a lot of rain, a lot of wind. Uh, my house was safe, and uh, thankfully all the cars were safe where I work at. So uh, it survived. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell notification there to get notified when new videos pop up. We're filming every day. See you soon.